Okay, so my name is Zenith Farago. I live in Byron Bay. I am a death walker. I'm a feminist. I'm a person who likes to live a full life because I work with people who are dying. And I really see that the key to dying well is living well. You know, when we, as soon as we are born, it's, we have a birthright and we have a death right. Mm -hmm. But is our birthright to die? Mm -hmm. Because if you're never born, you can never die. And with that, if you're lucky, you get a full journey in between. But some people will only live a short time. And they will affect people around them. And we are interdependent. Every single thing affects us and affects everybody else. And we're a, we're a web. And how one person deals with that affects everybody else. Mm -hmm. So the more we prepare, the more we accept, the more we remember that deep place within ourselves, that that is where we're going. And that allows us to be free. So when people are very busy doing, you know, transformational personal development work and everybody's looking for freedom, mm -hmm. you can say to them, how do you feel about dying? And they'll say, oh, I feel fine about that. And then you say, but how do you feel about it if your kids are dying? Oh, I'm not okay with that. I'm really not okay with that, they'll say. And then they still need to work on that because I see, I'm a parent myself, I had to really look at that before I started working with parents of children who died so that I could sit there and not bring a fear or a resistance to that experience, to bring a neutrality. And with that, I was able to see parents whose lives weren't destroyed, whose relationships weren't destroyed by the loss of someone, that they didn't neglect their other living children because they were so caught in the loss of another. And that is very common, that children mm -hmm. will suffer because another child has died in that family, that the parent gets so consumed by that loss. But if you see that as something that just is, and you feel it as fully as you can, but you can't stay in that. You have to come back to life, you have to come back into that. But some people will go beyond that and that experience will grow them in a way that they never thought was possible. Mm -hmm. And they will create foundations, they will create actions, they will create kindness f from that experience that will affect and influence others. And we all have that potential. It's just a way of being.